hello, welcome back. Uh, from Alessandro. And Abe. Um, we continue our uh, journey mm -hmm. with various geometrical uh, entities in uh, Open Render. We were looking in the last episode at segments, and mm -hmm. maybe we want to go a bit more in the rabbit hole <laughs> with segments. Let's go. Yeah. So let's make something interactive with... This time, okay. Yeah, we can create two segments and mm -hmm. move them with a the mouse. Mm -hmm. um, I have to think a bit, like, we should create maybe a mutable uh, list of points. Ah, right, yes. Which we can move with a mouse. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe and then create a new segment object in the... Yeah. All the time, okay. Because uh, remember, people, immutability. <laughs> Kotlin really, and open uh, render, really likes immutability, so. Mm, actually, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna use this uh, function here mm -hmm. to get eight points somewhere on the screen. Mm -hmm. And let's first visualize them. Ah, wait, I'm gonna move this out mm -hmm. so we don't recreate it on every frame. Mm -hmm. And then we draw them as circles. Draw uh, our circles points 20, for example. Mm. Okay. Very nice. So now I want to, I'm going to use these, like four of them for to draw one segment and mm -hmm. then the others for other segments. So you mean four, uh, four pieces will be information about one mm -hmm. uh, cubic segment and the other one, the other one. Actually, okay. I could do that already. So... Uh, maybe I create a segment one. It's going to be a segment, and I will take. You could do point zero, point one, point yeah. two, point three. <laughs> it's a bit <laughs> tedious. Yeah. Uh, but that's it. Uh, two and point three, mm -hmm. and I have to import this segment from OpenRNDR. And I can draw this, drawer segment S1. And they're nice. interesting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because it's not clear who is who is pulling from those. Yes, exactly. But well, that's how it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'll Because these points are not ordered. Yeah. Like, you know, our mm -hmm. brain would like to see... Actually, technically, we can order them, but that's another mm -hmm. story from top to bottom. But that's yeah. another story. Yeah. Um. <laughs> um. So I'm going to create a second one, mm -hmm. S2. Nice. And so now how can we move them around? Um, I think we have mouse, uh, mm -hmm. button, down, or we can do even very quickly just by drag. Mm -hmm. So you want to be able, mm -hmm. uh, tell me if I'm understanding correctly, you want to be able to click on the um, point and move it around. Mm -hmm. Okay? So basically, right. we have to be able to say to see that the mouse is dragging inside one of these uh, points. Well, I was thinking of just finding which one is the closest and move ah, that one. Okay. Okay. So, uh, let me see. So we have points and what is it? The nearest how do we find the closest one um, mean by mean by oh. this do you uh, the closest to what um the closest to the, mouse, to the position. mouse position so i would say you have to create distances so mm -hmm. uh, basically you can point map and uh, compute the distance between the mouse position and the point mm -hmm. but there's also the possibility of just searching for the closest one directly I think I, oh, what, okay. what did I tell you before about this index? In the, uh, with, with index. With index, yeah. Okay. And then find the one with the lowest uh, something. So it's mean by, yeah. Okay. <laughs> mean, I mean by now, it distance, uh, distance to the mouse position. Is it distance? No. What is it? I know it. Distance to? Actually, is value because we are using indexed. Ah, value the, dot distance yeah. to. This width index is a way of getting the index uh, or maintaining the index mm -hmm. when we are searching for something. Mm -hmm. This is a bit advanced. But mm -hmm. <laughs> so the, the it value is actually the vector. Right. And now we can have the distance to, uh, to mouse position. Ma e yeah, mouse. Or we could use, because we have the event here. Yes. This is the mouse event. So mm -hmm. it's the event position. Mm -hmm. So this returns now the... Um, let me see, what does it return? <laughs> well, thing is, it's an index value. Mm -hmm. And we want the index. Mm -hmm. 
So then we just have here dot index, and now we have the index of the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is the closest index. Mm -hmm. And you want now the, the closest to follow the mouse? Yeah, then we just rewrite. So we say points. But wouldn't this re wouldn't this result in uh, clustering all the points? No, because it's going to only move the closest to the ah, mouse. Ah, it only moves the closest. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Uh, this is correct. So event position. Is is this working? I oh, know it's not points dot val. No points. What is this wrong? Point. Ah, because I didn't make a mutable list, so it doesn't know. Why are you trying to use brackets? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we just need mutable list. And I think this is it. Uh, let me try. I can just click and drag. Ah, right. And All right, because this is dragged. I had forgotten that you have to click to activate it. Uh -huh. Ah. So, um, <laughs> it's funny because it's a bit difficult to control because when you're moving, it may yeah. jump to another circle. Yeah. This is a very hacky way. Like yes, but it's already fun, actually. Yeah, better uh, for the users <laughs> would be when you use mouse clicked, mm -hmm. then you find you exclude the, basically yeah, you yeah. find which one is the closest, mm -hmm. and then you only drag the closest. Yeah. But okay, I think you wanted to show uh, what yeah, normal to, to, to not to compute the, the intersection now. Intersection. Yeah. How are we doing with time? Uh, we're doing fine. Like <laughs> intersections. Uh, um, not existentially, but <laughs> we, we just with, with we with still have forty years left. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> we are just you know with the time specified in this sense, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so intersection. Yeah. Let's see. What was it? Intersections. Yeah, again? it was intersections. S one, S two, and we can draw a circle on the a red circle on this point now. Uh, I think is where. Missing something. It's not. Inter is it intersections? Ah, it's in plural. Mm -hmm. Why is it in plural? Do you know? I know. The <laughs> intersections. Why is it in plural? Yeah. Uh, I don't or know. Another question. Do you know how many intersections you can have between two Bezier curves? How many intersections you can have between two Bezier curves? You can have zero. Yeah. That's for sure. Uh -huh. You can have one. Mm -hmm. But you can also have two if they curve, right? Uh -huh. So you can have nine. You can have nine. Ah, because you can also have a double one if, you, if, if you it touches, right? If you huh? make a Bezier curve that is like an S mm. against another S. Ah, I guess two Bezier curves. They, right. they can cross nine times, and that's right. why. And that's the maximum? Yeah. Count? Yeah, okay. <laughs> In this dimension. <laughs> okay, so that's why intersections. So this yeah. will return a list. Yeah. Ah, mm -hmm. okay, nice. Yeah. Uh, and we could even kind of try that here. Like, mm -hmm. well, so far we're not visualizing them, mm -hmm. but if we create some yeah. kind of... Now it's interesting because we can show uh, quickly the fact that intersection can also return an, an empty list, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So when we go and draw it, mm -hmm. it could be empty, yeah. but this doesn't change the logic of the code, right? Right. Because if we do for each... Yeah, yeah, there is no problem. Okay, good. Um, so we can... Where are we here? Drawing here mm -hmm. is... So I'm going to call it ESX for intersections. Mm -hmm. mm, for each. And now we want to draw each intersection. Mm -hmm. as, Let's draw it red. As a circle also? As a circle. Drawer.circle. Mm -hmm. uh, now, you will see, we cannot draw an intersection. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to do something with it. And um, but uh, first, let's make it red. Yeah, because if you notice what IntelliJ is telling us, this is not a list of vector two, but it's a list of segment intersection. Right. So we have to extract the the vector position from there. In we can do dot map uh, or dot. Sorry, ah, sorry. We dot. could map yeah. the map yeah. side or here. Yeah. We can look at and uh, it has a bunch of interesting features. Mm -hmm. So the intersections have uh, segment points. Mm -hmm. or a position mm -hmm. uh, and a segment point then has let's let's look at it what it has mm -hmm. uh, so a few other properties mm -hmm. so you can find for example the percentage on the segment uh, in case you want like the mm -hmm. t, t value all oh, right yeah. so you can find at which position of the mm -hmm. each of the involved Okay, segments. so basically at, at which uh, value of the parameter t that yeah. parameterize the Bezier curve from 0 to 1, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Well, in our case, we just want the position. Yeah. So that would be easier. 
Uh, let's see let's now see. if it's working. Pew. Yes. There we have an intersection. Yes, there we have more two. intersections. Yeah. <laughs> we can try to make if I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. To, the, to make the nine the, one. The crazy case. Uh, Let me see. Uh, yeah, it's quite You have to hard. move probably also the other control points. Uh, this is, I don't know which one belongs to which. Yeah. You know what we could do? We could draw the little helper lines to know. Ah, right, 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 right. Uh, like the segment from the the start or end yeah. and the res respective control point one or two, right? Yeah. But uh, yeah, but we can already clearly see that the intersection is... At least three. Yes, <laughs> at least three. Okay, yeah. good. So I think we can wrap up this yeah. video. What did we learn? Uh, we learned... Um, what did we learn? <laughs> ah, we learned about actually, we learned about segments, we learned about control points, we lear learned about uh, uh, segment intersections, mm -hmm. uh, we learned about uh, how to implement a bit of interactivity, yeah. and we learned about with index, yeah. this uh, possibility to basically keep track of the index and querying yeah. the index. Don't um, don't worry if you don't get this with index. We yeah. we have to go in. I discovered it today. So <laughs> <laughs> don't worry if you if you don't get it. Yeah, well, we will go deeper into another in another episode. In another episode. So see you in the next episode. Yeah, about shape contours. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>